The White Sox are in the Bronx. They're the number one team in the American League. They're facing the Yankees. It's all tied up at one in the ninth. Aroldis Chapman, the closer for the Yankees on the mound. He hasn't given up a run all season. This one's brought to you by DraftKings. Go to DraftKings. When you download the app, use promo code JOMBOY. This was a tough one for betters to bet on. I'll show you why at the end. So anyway, crazy inning. Ball one to your mean. Ball two. Now it's three and one, and now he's walked him. He walks the leadoff guy. Never a good situation. They pinch run. Billy Hamilton who's ready to go. Chapman, they lay down the bunt. Chapman tries to field it. It's in his big-ass fingers. It's out of his big-ass fingers. Spider legs as fingers can't corral it, grabs it like that, invents a new pitch, throws it, some nice tail, but didn't really work out. Says, huh, well, this situation sucks. Two on, no out, tie game in the ninth. Not much good can happen here, but just wait and see. He gets back in the count with the fastball there, one and one. She says, thank you, ump. It was. He says, watch out, Billy. Billy says, oh, shit. The one-one pitch, hard shot to Gio Urshela, steps on third, throws it to Rugi at second, throws it to first, triple play to get out of the inning. I mean, we've seen triple plays, but never in the ninth inning of a tie game to escape the jam for the closer who has never given up a run. And this dude knew he was up in his seat, ready to watch and take it in as soon as Rudy got the ball. And all the other fans, then they start going, a little security guard, yeah! Big old bear scream from Voight. Big old punch from Chapman in celebration. The crowd's going absolutely nuts behind him. Look at that kid in the jersey, just like, oh my God, what did we just see? Holy shit. It's always a joke. You say, well, a triple play's in order. Let's just do that. Triple play would be nice right now. And then the Yankees actually did it. Woo! Glaber's running off saying, man, I got a good view of that. I want to be part of the fun, though. And he soon will be because Judge leads off the bottom of the ninth with a single. Then Geo bloops a little single in himself. Now the Yankees got two on and no outs. Do the White Sox turn a triple play? That would be wild. They don't. Glaber puts that one through the hole. Judge rounds third, heads home. He's judgy five strides faster than he should be. Slides in. Yankees turn a triple play and have a walk-off in the same inning. And Glaber Torres, I don't know, is he pointing at his arm there? Is he saying ice in his veins? Is he pointing at the Yankees logo? I don't know. Maybe he's pointing at his heart. Says, I have a heart. I have a heart. Gary Sanchez is double water bottling because, of course, he's double water bottling. He's chosen that role. Or maybe it's chosen him. I don't know, but we've seen it three times now in the last five days. Gary Sanchez, double water bottles. They throw Glaber away, say, get out of here, go celebrate alone, think about what you've done. He says, okay, take it in. Chapman gives Gio a big old hug for getting him out of there with the triple play. Thanks, man. No, honestly, thank you. Thank you. Look at that hug. Judge making Glaber look like his son because Judge is a giant. Wade with the hair, high fives galore. Everyone having a good time. Uh, Glaber walks off, looks at the camera, says, yep, you just saw something crazy. Triple play and walk-off win in the same inning. Only been done four times the last time the Dodgers did it to the Padres in 2012. So that shit was wild. Some other cool stuff happened in this game that I'm just going to show you because I know there's people that watch these videos that don't watch baseball a lot, and maybe you just missed what happened, but it's pretty cool because Judge puts the deke on him. So the runner's running the second. He has to decide if Judge catches this, I have to go back to first base. Otherwise, Judge can throw me out. Otherwise, I can get tagged up for the double play. If Judge doesn't catch it, then I got to go to second base. What Judge does, you can see right here, he's acting like he's going to catch it. He throws the glove up, and when he throws the glove up, you can see the runner put on the hard brakes and actually put all his momentum going back to first base. But Judge had no chance of catching that ball. Maybe if he full out dove, but then he risks it going to the wall. So instead, he just dekes him a little bit and then gets the easy out at second base. Says, yep, easy. I'll I'll play it again in live speed. So the ball's up. Judge acting like he's going to catch it. Deke, just that slight deke, gets the out at second base. Cool. Tim Anderson did something similar in the bottom of the next inning. Wade steals second. Now the ball gets away from the catcher. Wade slid, though. I'm sure Wade would have loved to round second on his feet and get to decide if he was going to go to third base or not. I think he wouldn't have went because the throws right there, but Wade didn't even get that choice because Tim Anderson, the shortstop acted like the throw was coming to him. A little deke on deke on deke game within the game. 
This one was brought to you by DraftKings, and you can see by the bets that were placed on this game, majority got it wrong. A lot of people had the White Sox to win and the over to hit, but the Yankees won and the under hit. 54% of the money was on the over. 54% of the money was on the White Sox. So if you think you're smarter than the average person that bet on this game, if you're like, obviously it was the under and the Yankees, get in the action. DraftKings Sportsbook. When you download it, use promo code JOHNBOY. Thanks.